Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today we're gonna go for a skill set of Lance Master. If you haven't seen the first part of Lance Master Guide, please watch that one first. Then let's begin. Since most of the names of the skills from classes in Enika, including a Lance Master, are from Chinese, it's hard to translate into English, so let me skip the name part. I'm gonna go for two skill sets for Climax, and one for Moderation, and one for Chaos Dungeon set. As I told you before in the Destroyer skill set guide, um, I'm not a PvP user, so I don't really know much about PvP skill set for Lance Master, so I think I'm gonna skip that one. Um, the first skill build is for non-crit stat which uses Climax set. Let me start from the top. The first skill, the blue skill, is the skill that slashes and fires blade. Uh, let me show you. It's this skill. And this skill has back attack. If you see here for the tripod, you want to go for this one that increases the damage. And uh, for the second one, uh, you want to go for this one uh, that increases, that also increases the damage but by a lot. And third one, this is the important tripod for this skill. This is the tripod that makes this skill into a ranged skill. Uh, as you've seen before, it fires the blaze, right? That's because of this tripod. If you, you, if you go for this one, the other one, then it will no longer fire the blade. But this one, uh, at the uh, level of 5, um, it's slightly stronger than the range one. But it, as I mentioned before, it's slightly stronger. So most of the people prefer this one because you lose uh, like just tiny amount of uh, damage, but you get the range uh, skill. And this is very important, especially in Legion raid because there are you know uh, lots of situations where you uh, bump into um, like uh, you can't stick to the boss. Like you you have to make some distance from it. So. This is the tripod you want to go for to uh, DPS stably. The rune you want to go for this skill is Gale Wing. Since it's a skill that slashes for a long time, you want to um, reduce the, the motion time. So you, you want to go for Gale Wing. The second skill here is the movement skill. It's really a good movement skill for a uh, Lance Master uh, besides the spacebar. As you can see here, I just uh, invested 4 points here since it's just the usage for uh, moving forward. And you see, uh, the reason I um, invested just 4 is because of the first tripod here. Uh, this one is the tripod that increases the amount of distance uh, for the movement. So. Uh, as you can see here, it increase for me. I'm on level four, and it, it increases 3.5 meter uh, much longer than original. So if I try to uh, disable the tripod and use this skill, then it will just move like from here to here, this much right here. And if I use it with this tripod. see the difference it was like here right somewhere here and this is the uh, the difference of the distance so it's really much right the rune I'm using for this skill is purify well to be honest like you can use anything for the movement skill but for me like um, I'm just using the purify one the next skill is the counter skill for Lance Master. I've invested zero on this skill because this skill's usage is for is purely for uh, the counter. But there are some people who uh, invest four to get this tripod, which uh, increases the distance for Lance Master to move forward. It's this skill. Let me show you without the tripod first. Like it uppercuts with its feet like this. It's a counter skill. And if you apply the movement tripod, then it moves much more. See the difference? 
it's phenomenal. But the reason why I didn't invest for this is because, um, like, there's so many other skills that a uh, Lance Master needs to master. Like, for my skill set, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven skills to be mastered, either on level 12 or 10. And see here, I just have two points left out of all. So, like, with with rest of these two points, I cannot um, invest four. Like three is the max that I can do uh, in my situation. So that's why I gave up, uh, you know, giving four for the counter skill. The next skill is a DPS skill, uh, which is a holding skill. Um, if you hold the key, if you press the key, then it will uh, rush to that direction. Let me show you. can even, you know, um, change the direction like this while you're holding. And this skill has a back attack. So if you see here in the tripod, this one raises the damage and this one also raises the damage by a lot. And if you see the third one, this is the uh, tripod that makes this skill into a holding skill, like that dashing, rushing skill. And if you go this one instead of this one, it makes it into um, a normal skill that doesn't require ho holding. And also the the motion, the animation uh, turns completely different. It fires a uh, twister like this. And I assume that this this one is used in PvP because it knocks uh, out, you know, uh, multiple players with that twister. But in the raid, in PvE contents, this one is way much stronger than this one. So there's no doubt going for the, the holding skill, the holding tripod. Uh, for the rune, I'm using the Overwhelm rune for this skill to support more stagger. The next skill is the skill that has the highest stagger that Lance Master has. Um, it's this skill. It's also pretty awesome. It has back attack. If you see the tripods, uh, first one, it reduces the cooldown. So obviously you want to go for this one. And on the second line, this one, uh, is the one that uh, allows the skill to hit twice. As you can see here, it hits twice. One and two. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, other options. Uh, this one is the one that uh, makes you to hit just by single. And the, of course, the damage is also lower than this. And third one in the second line right here is the the strongest one that has you know strongest damage among these three tripod here. But the reason why most people use this one is because uh, this one has uh, you know the best damage in exchange of uh, the attack speed. So which means the attack speed for this tripod is very low. Let me show you. If you change to this one and use the skill. See that? It charges uh, something with, with shouting and then it uh, lands its attack, so it's pretty slow. But it's much stronger, even in tripod level 1. For the third tripod, you want to go for this one, which increases damage and crit rate as well, so it's really insane. And for PvP, I think you should go for this one because this one gives you immunity from knockout attacks and also has reduction in the incoming damage. So you want to go for this one, obviously, for PvE. And for the rune, you want to go for you should go for wealth because wealth is the rune that uh, increases the amount of the the identity, right? Uh, and for Lance Master, like I told you in the previous video, it's important to you know. Um, uh, max out the gauge by using skills, but this skill here that I've shown you, this skill uh, has, I mean, it literally increases 
degage by a lot. So using wealth rune means that it will have much more efficiency on uh, using it. Here, let me show you. I'm gonna press Z key to switch over and it starts from zero, right? The gauge. And when I use this skill with wealth rune, it fills out this much, which is insane. The next skill is a skill that tumbles forward for several times. It has head attack. And for the tripod, uh, for the first one, this one allows you for additional distance. And this one uh, increases uh, the damage by a lot. And for the third one, this is the one that uh, makes you, that allows you to uh, use the skill twice in a row. If you saw my attack, like I can like combo by twice, like one time and two time. And you can also change the direction like this. So this tripod is the one that makes you to do that. So this is like, it's not even optional. This is like mandatory if you want to use this skill. You want to go with this one, this one, and this one, and which is the strongest, um, you know, DPS tripod. And for the rune, you want to go for the overwhelm rune because uh, this skill has head attack. And remember in the destroyer video, I told you guys that in Lost Ark, uh, head attack, I mean, uh, the head attack from head attack skills allow you the... Um, additional damage uh, by 20% and also 10% of stagger. So if you want to, uh, you know, get much more efficiency uh, from the stagger, you want to use this attack obviously in a head attack to get that 10% stagger bonus. And also if you pair it with overwhelm, then it will, you know, uh, synergy uh, much. The next skill is one of the important skill for Last Master. Uh, it's the party synergy skill. So uh, since it's a party synergy skill, it's not a DPS skill, which is the reason why I just invested 10 instead of 12 like other DPS skills. And um, okay, let me show you. It's this skill. It just throws its um, spear on the ground. And for this skill, without any tripod on level 10, it already gives you and your teammate 8% um, crit rate, additional 8% crit rate. And uh, for the tripod, the first one reduces the cooldown, which you obviously want to go for go, uh, because it's a synergy skill, right? You want it to be uh, less for the cooldown. And second one is the one that allows you to, you know, immediately use the skill like this. If you go for other one, then it doesn't, you know, uh, um, throws its spear to the ground immediately. See, it's very slow. And if you go with this one, it becomes into a range skill, but it's, uh, you know, still slow. So. This is mandatory for going this. It's much faster. And for the third one, this is important. Uh, you obviously want to go for this one because what it says is that uh, it allows you and your teammate for additional 10% uh, crit rate, which means like eight from this skill already and you get bonus 10% from this third tripod, which adds up to 18% of crit rate increase for um, six seconds, six seconds. So it's like uh, instant party synergy skill. And this uh, this synergy is crazy. Like you you guys might have you know already experienced in the party rate that uh, the classes that gives the crit synergy like uh, Gunslinger, Deadeye, um, Lance Master, and what else? Uh, War Dancer. Like those classes really benefits the party a lot. So the theory here is that since this skill gives you 18% of bonus crit rate uh, for six seconds, you wanna use this skill first 
and then uh, use other uh, blue DPS skills to benefit from that uh, buff. Yeah, that, that's which is really obvious. And for the rune, you want to go for... Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter for this skill since it's just a synergy skill. For me, I ju I'm just using bleed, bleed rune. Now we're finally into the red skills. Uh, if you see the red skills, there are only six skills, right? So unlike blue skills, um, blue skills have like more than eight skills. So you have to pick either eight of them uh, out of these uh, total skills uh, for this skill skill set here, right? But for the red skills, if you change the stance, uh, you you only have six skills, which means uh, like there's no option. Like you just put all of them here, like this. And if you see the first and second skill right here on Q and W, uh, I literally invested none of uh, points here because these two are just like uh, skills that, uh, you know, that helps me to uh, increase the max out the gauge. Yeah, so the usage of using these two skills are just filling out the gauge. It doesn't do any DPS much. Like the first skill is this one. Like just poking ones. And if you see the gauge, uh, let me show you. Um, all right, like it does this much. And if you see the second skill right here, this one, this one like pokes for several times. And if you see the gauge, it's similar, yeah. The next skill is this skill right here. Since I've invested zero points on it, of course it's very weak. And um, this one also acts like just, um, you know, filling up the gauge like these two skills. And do you guys remember in the previous video, I mentioned that there are four red skills out of six uh, that have a guaranteed crit tripod. And this skill is one of those four skills. But um, if you see here, like the reason why I'm not uh, using this in a max skill point is that um, this one ha is very inconvenient. Like if you see the skill tripod, let me max this out. Uh, this one is, this one increases the damage and you wanna go for this one and um, this one, yeah. Uh, if you see the second tripod, this is the one that increases the crit rate of this skill by 50%. Okay, so you already got 50%, right? So where do you get the rest of the rest of the 50% from here, the third tripod? It says it turns the skill into a charging skill and it increases the damage by 50% and also it increases the crit rate by 50%. So it's like 50 plus 50 is 100, it's a guaranteed crit. But if you see the second tripod here, this one has a trap. It says that you get a crit rate of 50% if you land the skill on the edge. Now you guys know what's happening, right? The edge stuff that you, you guys didn't want to see from Destroyer. This thing has edge bonus, the 50% of crit rate. So if you hit uh, from a close distance, that means you lose the the second tripod, the crit rate of, of 50%. Let me show you how it's done. It's a charging skill, and if you use it from this kind of distance, it guarantees crits. It's 100%. But if you use it from like close distance right here, you get like just 50. See? See this white damage? This is how it works. So this skill is like a uh, conditional uh, guarantee crit hit, right? So this is because of this inconveniency, people go for other red skills instead of this one. The next red skill is a pretty good DPS red skill, which even allows you to move forward. Uh, let me show you. It jumps up and then it strikes the land uh, where your pointer is at. Yeah. 
and it has back attack damage. If you see the tripod, this one increases the damage and this one reduces the cooldown. And if you see the third one, now this is where it gets important. Uh, this one, it says that it guarantees the crit and it increases the crit damage by 44% in level at level 5 tripod. So this is the tripod that makes this skill into a guaranteed crit. Then let's see the other one. This one says, um, I mean, even though it's level 1 uh, for me, uh, it says that it increases, increases the damage by 70%. So I assume that at level 5, it will be like, uh, like 100% somewhere like so let's say let's pretend that it increases by 100% at level 5 so if you compare with this one at level 5 so it's like either you have guaranteed crit with 44% crit damage or uh, non guarantee uh, crit with 100% damage uh, bonus and if it crits yeah of course this one is much stronger if it crits and if it doesn't crit then this one's more stronger. So this is totally, you know, up to you. Remember guys that I told you there are different uh, stat sets uh, in the previous video. If you're if you're going for the the crit and the uh, specialization uh, stat set, then you are you should go for this one, of course. So let me show you how this one works. This one hits the uh, the the mob twice like this and this one looks cool yeah, yeah i'm gonna be honest it looks really cool the rune you want to go for this skill uh is going the next skill is also an one of the important skill as a lance master because it's a retaliation skill do you guys know that Gun Lancer has a retaliation skill called um, Counter Strike? I think it's called Counter Strike in Korea. I don't know if it's uh, pronounced same in NA and EU, but it's same as that skill. Uh, it, while you are on this skill and you get attacked by the mob, then it retaliates back with decent damage. So let me show you guys. Uh, I need a boss that hits me. So let's summon that guy here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it works. Oh, I missed it. Like this. It retaliates. For this build, this stat build, no no crit build, uh, most of the uh, Lance Master go, just go uh, one level, which means uh, investing none uh, for this skill. But uh, this that doesn't mean that they're not using this skill because this is a... This is a decent skill to, you know, defend uh, skills from other mobs. It also provides uh, tons of amount of shield. So literally, if you think you're you're gonna get into some uh, troublesome situation, then you can just use this skill and just retaliate it with shield. So it's really a good skill even with level one. But of course, there are some builds that uses uh, this skill as a as a mastered level so the tripod if you want to max this uh, skill the tripod you want to go for the first one is um to be honest you can go either one uh, this one it reduces the banana consumption and this one uh, i you back in the days when i used this skill as a max point i used this one because this one uh, increases the duration time of the retaliation for 0.1 second and you might guys you guys might laugh like i mean 0.1 second like that's like no difference and uh yeah it doesn't have difference i i thought like that but uh, when i used it for several times uh i did feel the difference like uh, from this 0.1 so yeah that's how it works and for the third one um this one just uh you know increases the gauge, uh, the the gauge when you succeed in attacking the boss with this skill, but literally, um, people don't use this one. They they use either this one or this one, and for the second tripod, uh, this is where it gets serious. Um, 
for DPS, if you're if you wanna literally DPS with this retaliation skill, you should go for this second one because the second one is the tripod that guarantees crit. So this skill is an insane skill, uh, which is a retaliation skill, but it also has a guarantee crit, uh, which means it can do lots of DPS. Yeah, it's not. It's like it's a retaliation skill, but it does lots of damage, which is insane. And this one, if you see here, I think this is yeah. This one's obviously for PvP. Uh, this one says that uh, it allows the skill to you know apply the stun on the opponents who get hit for three seconds. Yeah, this one's for PvP. And this one, this one's one of the cra craziest uh, tripod I've ever seen. Uh, this is the one that allows uh, this skill to have immunity from the status condition. Uh, do you guys know how crazy this is? Because like for retaliation skills, even from Gunlancer, like it, this skill already has super armor. Like it's immune to the knockout and push attacks. It already is. But with pairing up with this tripod, you also get the immunity from status condition, which means if you are using this skill like this, if you're holding this skill for this much uh, second, uh, for that time, you get immune to everything, even from status condition. And you get like, uh, and you also get tons of shield, and you also retaliate to the opponents. So it's really, a, it, I mean, this skill is just insane. This skill itself is. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, I'm not using it. I'm just using it for defending, uh, you know, uh, uh, objective. But still, it's it's pretty a, a insane uh, skill. And for the last tripod here, um, for DPS, you want to go like this one, this one, and this one. Okay, this one says that it increases the damage. Yeah, like simple. It just increases the damage of the retaliation skill. And this one, um, it just increases the range. So no need to look for this one on PvP. PV, yeah, PvE, I mean. So if you use it like, like this, then... It does pretty decent amount of damage if you have like max level on this tripod. So let me show you guys. Um, summon boss and if you use it like this, see that? See that damage? It's pretty insane. So you can tell that this skill, uh, even though it's a retaliation skill, it does guarantee crit hit and it, it hits more with bonus damage. So it's literally a skill that's that have fun yeah that's the important point it's the skill that have fun as a lance master and also uh depending on the raid you're doing you can also change the tripod for like for instance this one that gives gives you immunity from the status condition so it's already an insane uh you know a skill uh, you know when it comes to all these stuff and remember guys that uh, for my skill set, I mean for the popular skill set, like people uh, don't use this, I mean they literally don't invest uh, skill point on this retaliation skill, is because that, um, as you can see, it's passive. It's not an active skill, it's passive. You need to let the opponent to hit you and that's when you uh, apply the DPS on it. So because of that reason, uh, you know, it doesn't, do it actually doesn't do that much DPS compared to other red skill uh, since it's passive yeah so that's the reason they I mean most people just leave it as a skill point uh, one level and they just use it as you know defending objective so we're now into the last red skill which is the strongest skill that last master has it's a holding skill and it has back attack. For the tripod, the first one, you wanna go for this one for cooldown reduction. And for the second one, this one guarantees crit. So most of the time, uh, you wanna go for this one. But uh, like I told you before, if you want to um, make your stat set as um, crit and uh, um, what's this called specialization then you sh you can go for this one 
because this one doesn't guarantee crits, but it literally increases the damage of this skill. So which means if it crits, then this tripod is stronger than this one. If not, then this one's much more stronger. And for the third tripod, uh, you obviously want to go for this one because this one just increases the damage of this skill by a lot. The rune you want to go for this skill is obviously Gailwing since it's a, a holding skill. Alright, finally we're into the Awakenings. And before I go over to the Awakenings, uh, I want you guys to know that Awakenings, of course, uh, it doesn't have something like uh, guaranteed crit, right? But if you want to, you know, get lots of damage uh, from the, the Awakening, then like, what do you guys think that you have to do as a Lance Master? It, the buff that you get by switching over to the red stance gives you uh, the bonus of crit damage and damage and movement speed. And if you switch over from red to blue, then you get the buff of uh, the buff bonus of damage, attack speed, and crit rate. So, which stance do you guys want to use the the awakening to get the best damage for this stat set? It has zero crit, which means if you do, if you hit in a stance that doesn't have crit rate bonus it will literally not crit all of these two awakenings will not crit so the best option is that you want to use the awakenings in the blue stance which provides you the crit here let me show you the first awakening is this one it's pretty cool huh yeah, you throw the spear and that spear explodes in that area. And if you use it in a red stance, it will not provide you crit. So the damage will be like... See guys, this is the reality if you use it in red stance as no crit base. But if you use it uh, on the blue stance in max gauge, See, this is how it works. You want to use the Awakening in blue stance. Then let's go over to the second Awakening. The second Awakening requires holding. So uh, it's a holding Awakening. And uh, when it comes to DPS, uh, the second one, this one, the holding Awakening, uh, slightly does much more than this one. Let me show you the animation first. So this is the second awakening, and if you use it in red stance, it will obviously not crit. And the attack speed, if you see here, is very slow, right? It's really slow, but you guys remember, remember right? On blue stance, not only it gives you the crit rate uh, bonus, it also gives you the attack speed. Red one gets the movement speed, uh, blue one is the one that gets attack speed. So if you change to the blue stance, then you will get crit, uh, much more crit rate with uh, much more attack speed. Let me show you guys. It's obviously different, I mean, uh, by seeing even the damage and the holding time. So now I'm trying to show you guys the skill cycle, like how to rotate this uh, circulation. So first of all, you want to use this one, the, the crit synergy skill, uh, prior to other blue skills and awakening, which doesn't have guaranteed crit tripod, right? And then you want to switch over to the red skill and use the red skills that are mastered uh, since it's the strongest. And if you don't have enough uh, gauge that you want to fill it up by using other skills that are level level one and then switch back to the blue skills it's same so let's try it
And now let's go over to the next skill set uh, for this stat build right here, this one. Uh, for the crit and specialization without any swiftness. So in this case, uh, as I already told you guys, you don't need a tripod that guarantees crit, right? Because the reason why you want to go like this is because you want to um, amplify a much more damage on those red skills uh, that have, you know, damage um, damage bonus tripod instead of the guarantee crit tripod in that same line. So yeah, that's the main reason going this. So I just changed the tripod from the guarantee crit to the damage bonus for all of these red skills and this one as well here. And also for this build, you want to master this skill. The skill that, uh, you know, poked uh, with its spear for a lot of time. Uh, th this one. Do you guys remember? It's this skill. And you want to master this because if you see the tripod here, uh, this one uh, increases the crit rate when you hit at the edge. And this one, it makes the skill into a holding skill. And this is the tripod that gives uh, so much DPS for this skill. Um, it says that uh, for seven seconds, uh, whenever you uh, whenever you poke with this skill, it stacks uh, it stacks bleed. Yeah, it it literally has a bleeding stack. This skill has, and you can stack up to ten times. It says so. Pairing up with this holding tripod, it will easily, you know, make up to 10 stacks. And that bleeding damage does so much damage for this skill. And and therefore, even for the rune, you want to go for bleed to do much more, you know, damage. And so let me show you guys how it works. And the reason why you want to go for this skill is because there's no guaranteed crit hit like um, tripod here. So since you're having crit stat, that means you can now use this skill. Okay, before I go into the, the skill cycle simulation, uh, you guys have to know that this skill, the party synergy skill, the crit rate party synergy, um, the timing when you have to use this is totally different from the first skill set because the first skill set had guaranteed crit skills on the red side. So uh, you didn't have to use this before you go over to the red stance. You had to use this before using either awakening or other blue skills, right? You guys know this, right? But for this skill set, like all these red skills doesn't have guaranteed crit hit tripod and also uh, as I told you before in the red stance the buff you get is not a crit buff it's a crit damage buff so you literally have no crit rate buff but the only one you have is from the stat and from this the 18% of crit rate from this skill so you have to rely on all these things just these two things the skill and the stat. So that's why you have to use this one right before you go over, you switch over to the red one. You get it, right? So the sequence is totally different. So so keep that in mind and watch this, um, uh, this skill cycle. Okay, we're into the third skill set, which is the moderation set, and you don't need a specialization for moderation because I've told you in the previous video that um, you cannot switch over to the red stance, which means you don't even need specialization. You can't get any buff. 
So you can distribute to crit and swiftness. And most of the time, you want swiftness to be higher because swiftness allows the, the moderation lens master to do higher DPS. So basically, how it works is that uh, if you see the skills one by one, uh, it's way weaker than the, the climax uh, lens master. But because of this high swiftness, uh, you can like spam all these weak um, skills uh, more than uh, more than the the climax uh, lens master does. So, uh, at total in total, uh, like there's there's very slight difference when it comes to DPS, as I mentioned in the first video, like um, the, what's this called? The Climax Lance Master is slightly stronger than the Moderation Lance Master. It's not like way stronger. For the skills, there are two blue skills that I haven't uh, explained to you guys. And the first one is this one right here. Um, this is the skill for the moderation um, Lance Master, and if you see the tripod here, this one increases damage, this one also increases damage, and this one also increases damage. So literally all three of these tripod increases damage, uh, which is uh, the mandatory you know, uh, tripod set to go. And let me show you the animation. I have to put it right here. It just slashes that much. The rune you want to go for this skill is Gale Wing because you don't want that much motion time, right? And the second skill for Moderation Lance Master is this one right here. Um, if you see the animation, let me show you the animation first. It just slaps by one hit. If you see the tripod, this one's uh, this one this one reduces the mana consumption and this one increases the damage and this one also increases the damage. So and for the rune you want to go for this skill is also going. For other skills, the tripod are all same uh, for the max DPS. So basically, um, you wanna use this uh, this party synergy skill, the crit rate before you go all these uh, DPS skills. If you see the moderation lance master, there are so many DPS skills like this one and this one is already two, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Six DPS skills with one synergy skill and one counter skill here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the skill cycle of moderation lance master. Well, lastly, we're into the Chaos Dungeon set, and there's only one skill that you have to know for Chaos Dungeon set. It's this skill right here, this one. So basically, for the tripod, you want this one, which reduces the cooldown, and this one, which makes this skill into a holding skill, and this one right here, because this one says if the it increases the damage by 30% at level 1 but if the opponent is like like uh, what should i say like like a named monster you know what i'm saying like elite monster or those monsters that are lower than elite grade like for those monsters if you hit with this skill it allows you to have 160% damage increase instead of 30 and this is only level 1 so if you uh, max this tripod out then you will get much stronger and this is all you need for the chaos dungeon and the reason is because um, let me show you so it's level 10 now and if i use it it turns into this skill see it's like it's a range aoe skill and it does lots of damage as well to uh, lots of enemies let, let me show you guys this one here 
If I spam this summon like this and use this skill. Oh, sorry, not that one. See, it basically hits all these enemies like this. And in Chaos Dungeon, like, it literally, you know, destroys everything. Well, guys, that's all for today. I'm definitely gonna upload part 3, which will cover engravings profoundly. Hope this video helps you guys a lot in the future release. And if you like my video, please hit the subscribe button. Then, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.